All right, I wanted to show how an April Air steam humidifier model 800 works. It uses a terminal called humidistat one and two, which receives dry contact. Um, it's a simple on and off switch. It doesn't have any voltage. It just requires it to open or close in order to activate the humidifier on a call for heating, or in this case for humidification. So what I've done is I put the red lead and the black lead to the one and two terminals on the humidistat. And what I'm gonna do is just put in my probes in here to verify that there's no voltage. So right there, zero. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump this to there to show what happens when there's a call for um, humidification, which is in essence kind of like closing the switch. There you go, you hear? So that's what it means to have a dry contact. It's just a switch that opens and closes. It doesn't have any voltage associated with it. Uh, another example would be like a, um, in essence, this switch right here, open and close. There's no voltage attached to this. It's just a mechanical on off. The voltage is transferred from here to there via coil in the back. So that's what a, uh, a dry contact is defined as. And just to help illustrate it a little bit further, I'm gonna go ahead and show you that there's no voltage there. So I'm gonna put my prime right here. Put my prime right here. Zero, okay. So you wouldn't apply any voltage to the humidistat one and two terminals. You could damage the board. In addition to that, I'll show you the current setup I have for the Ecobee. So I was wondering why the Ecobee at my house wasn't energizing the steam humidifier recently. That's because the Ecobee is sending a voltage signal instead of a pure dry contact on off signal. And to help illustrate that for y'all, I'll go ahead and show you. Give me one moment. Let me put my alligator tips. All right, so now I got my alligator tips. We're getting 13.7 volts from the Ecobee thermostat when it's calling for humidification. So I'm gonna show you how to go behind the scenes on the Ecobee to have it operate as a dry contact instead of a 24 volt signal, which in this case isn't even a 24 volt signal, it's 13.6, which is another question altogether. So stand by for more.